Well, the Auburn-Georgia rivalry is built on tradition, it's built on history, and I think it's built on mutual respect for one another. And it's always been a clean rivalry, you know. Uh, there's always good sportsmanship in that rivalry. Auburn-Georgia game, to me, is like two brothers fighting. The first game that we played was Auburn, was Auburn, Georgia. Played in the Deep South, was played in Piedmont Park in Atlanta, and it's played every year consecutively since, except for the World War II years when neither team, uh, neither school had a team for a couple of years. Of all the significant, meaningful games in the history of Auburn, Georgia, I think the 1960 game was probably the most significant. In 1960, the game came to Auburn for the first time. What is now the south end zone seats were added. The stadium went from 34,000 to 44,000. Ed Dice kicked three field goals for Auburn. Derwood Pennington kicked two for Georgia. And uh, that was, the, Ed Dice made All-American. That was his senior year. He set NCAA records for most field goals in a career and in a season and those those three in that game really really helped him and probably one of the biggest road victories in Auburn history came in Athens in 1971. Both teams were undefeated both of them were in the top what top five right up there at the top and there were people literally in trees there were people on top of buildings and had the most electric atmosphere I've ever been around. The game wasn't on TV, but it was the last, it was the last game before the Heisman voters had to have the Heisman ballot in by Monday. And yes, I think Pat Sullivan won the Heisman Trophy that day with the way he played. Uh, we got up two touchdowns and they'd cut it to one and we'd get back up two and, but we didn't really, uh, clinched the victory till late in the fourth quarter. Sullivan threw an 80 yard touchdown pass to Terry Beasley and, and um, clinched, clinched the game. The 1983 Auburn-Georgia game was special. And I think it, it was really the dawning of the Pat Dye era of championship football. Georgia had won three straight SEC championships and had played in three straight Sugar Bowls and Auburn uh, needed to win the game to have a chance to go to the Sugar Bowl and win the conference our ourselves and we kind of ran all up and down the field the first half, almost had 300 yards of offense, but only scored 13 points, uh, two field goals, our only touchdown came on after we recovered a fumble in, inside their 25 and punched it in. It came down to a matter of defense and field goals and Al Del Greco kicked two and Auburn won it 13 to seven. But the game won over until the horn sounded because Georgia kept, as a good football team will, as a good Vince Dooley team always did. Of course, Vince went to Auburn, you didn't expect that. 2004, Carnell Williams had a had a really big game, and Jason Campbell, he threw for like 299 yards, which at the time was the most he'd ever thrown for, and Carnell ran uh, really well, built a good halftime lead. Carnell also threw a touchdown pass. Uh, the 2010 game, it was an exciting game. Auburn won it. They won the SEC Western Division Championship that day. That got them to the championship game, no matter how the Alabama game came out. A lot of offense in the game, and it looked at times like, you know, we'd had a comfortable lead, and then it, and we, we would get behind, and then uh, we, we did break the game open late uh, to win by a couple of touchdowns. But Cam had a big game, and uh, Ontario McCaleb, and one of the more memorable games because it meant so much to go on toward helping win the national championship. And Cam got up in the south end zone in the student section and was celebrating, the whole, many of the players did. And it was just a, a time of celebration and joy because nobody thought that team would be that good that year.